What's up, Nerfer Jeansa here. Today I would like to talk about crafting gear and whether or not you should use the Airship Forge or the Door of Creation. So we're going to start off by going over uh, the Airship Forge, then the Door of Creation, and I'll tell you my thoughts on which one is better. Um, and then I'm going to do some crafting. Alright, so as you can see, I'm already in the Airship Forge. Now, for the Airship Forge, once a month, you can use 2,000 relics to get a guaranteed uh, Fate Weapon Craft, or, and, you can use uh, 200, what are these called, Star Fates, to get one guaranteed Fate Armor. Alright, that's it. Real simple. You're paying 2,000... Um, <clears throat> of the relics for one of these weapons, or you're paying 200 um, star fates for one of these pieces of equipment. Alright, so for the Door of Creation, it costs 50 relics for one uh, for one craft. Now if you come over here to the expected reward, there are a ton of possibilities, a ton of outcomes um, that you can get from this crafting. First of all, you need to know that you might just get some rare gear. You might just get some blue gear, right? Which is basically trash. Right? It's basically complete waste if you get blue gear. Um, however, say even if you only get legendary weapon, this is for the weapons only, not gear. Legendary weapons. Legendary weapons are, are pretty limited as far as I know. I only have two legendary weapons at the moment. I got one from the core raid. Um, event that we going on, and then I got one for the, um, oh shoot, whatever event that they have going on right now where you get that, uh, this, this sword right here, Aether Blade. Anyway, other than that, I have not gotten a single legendary weapon, um, and I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, you cannot get legendary weapons from Exploration or Solar slash Lunar, um, trade routes. So... If you get the blue weapon, yeah, it's a waste, but even if you only get a legendary weapon, it's still not bad. Another thing to note is that um, for the um, for the guaranteed craft, you're guaranteed one of these uh, six faded weapons. However, it is not possible to get one of these exclusive weapons. Right? Exclusive weapons are made um, exclusively for um, each faded character. Now, they are exclusive, but that doesn't mean that only that character can use it. it any character can use it, however, if the if you use the weapon um, on the intended hero, you get a bonus. Also, another thing to note is, even if you don't use it on the intended character, exclusive weapons have just a smidge more um, stats than regular faded weapons, so you can think of it as like faded plus weapons. All right, now when it comes to here we go, when it comes to the um, faded equipment, um, same it's five um, star fates for um, five star fates for one craft, and just like the weapons, you can get blue gear. Not that great, obviously. Uh, when I say not that great, I mean complete trash. It's fodder. Uh, you can get legendaries, and while you know we're we're early into the game and getting legendaries is good, you can get legendaries. You can purchase legendaries from the shop. Um, you can get legendaries from exploration. You can get legendaries from the sol solar and lunar trade routes. So getting a legendary, although not terrible at this point in time in the game is not as good as the weapons, right? Because the weapons, getting a legendary weapon even is extremely hard um, and rare, so it's not that bad. And of course, you have a chance to get faded um, gear. The one gripe that I have with this system is that just, they don't have the rates. I, I really wish they would just tell us the, the rates. Um, but it, you know, it's not listed here. It's not listed anywhere, as far as I can tell. Um, however, there is also a pity system for both of these. You do each of them 80 times, <clears throat> and you automatically get a uh, faded piece of equipment. Now, um, if you do the math, basically a pity costs twice as much as a guaranteed piece of faded gear in, um, 
in the uh, air, airship forge. Now that means if you get one faded weapon or one faded piece of armor within 80 crafts, you're getting faded. Um, you're getting your faded uh, equipment at the same rate as if you were to just use the guaranteed, um, the guaranteed pull from the airship forge, right? Of course, you can only use the airship forge um, once per month. So if you wanted, you could just use 2,000 or 200 to get the guaranteed piece of faded, um, guaranteed piece of faded equipment, and then use the rest um, of your resources to just, you know, take your chances for the rest of the month if you want. Um, now, me personally, uh, my personal thoughts is that again, they don't have the rates listed, so it's not a sure thing um, but just looking at the systems it seems like it is definitely more worth it to just go ham and try and craft and get as much as faded uh, equipment as you can as opposed to spending uh, 2,000 relics or 200 star fates to try and get the guaranteed one well not try to get the guaranteed one especially with this pity system in place there's no pity system you know it'd be extremely debatable but I feel like with the pity system it is definitely uh, better to just take your chances, um, to just take your chances with uh, crafting it, because literally all you need is one out of eighty, and you're still getting your faded equipment at the same rate as if you were to use the. Um, I'm sorry, use the airship forge. Now I wanted to give these thoughts. Um, my thoughts and my opinion on what's better before I crafted. That way, uh, you know, I'm not biased. Because if I craft here and I don't get anything, you know, I might get really salty and be like, okay, never mind. You should just use the, uh, the airship forge. Or maybe I'll get really lucky in which case I'll be like, why would you use the airship forge, right? Oh, I'm gonna FK here. All right, now I'm gonna do 2,000 relics worth of uh, weapon crafting. Unfortunately, I'm a scrub. So I still only have 35 um, Star of Fates, so I can't do that right now, but once I get 200, I will make another video just crafting um, uh, faded armor just to see how it goes. Um, and I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis. I'm, I'm not going to use the guaranteed once a month. I'm going to just craft at least for the first 10,000 or so relics and the first... 1,000 or so star fates. That way I can get um, a decent sample size to figure out the rates. Since they aren't listed, I would like to um, calculate the rates myself and just get kind of an idea so you can have um, more of an informed opinion on which one you should use. But of course, that'll take some time. Uh, maybe some other content creators will do the same thing. That way we can get a larger sample pool quicker. Anyway. Uh, let's get into the crafting. I'm going to do 500. Actually, let's do 1,000. Let's do 1,000 at a time. We'll do two big crafts here. Alright, wish me luck. Please, I just want to fade the weapon. <laughs> Alright. No faded weapon. However, I did get... One, two, three, four, five legendary weapons. And seeing as how I only had two legendary weapons before this craft, that is ginormous for me. That, that's huge. Alright, let's do another thousand. Let's see what we get. Ah! Alright. So I just did 2000s worth at uh, 2000 relics worth of crafting. Unfortunately, I did not get a single faded uh, weapon. Um, but I did get a bunch of legendaries which I did really really need. Uh, so I'm not too disappointed. Um, I will make another video once I have another 2000 and we will see if we can get one um, faded piece out of those 2,000. If I can just get one faded piece out of those 2,000, like I said before, I will still be getting faded gear at the same rate as if I were to use the guaranteed um, 
faded uh, weapon from the Airship Forge. Uh, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, or subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.